I'm Dr. Ian Thompson, president of Krista Santa Rosa Hospital Medical Center. On behalf of hundreds of our physicians and associates, we're very grateful that you've selected our hospital for your care. We will do our utmost to provide you a healing and safe environment where we can provide extraordinary and compassionate medical care. During this short video, you will meet members of our wonderful team who will orient you to us, to your room, and to many areas of our hospital. If at any time you need further information, please ask your nurse, the hospital unit director, my leadership team, or me. Our singular goal is to provide you with a healing environment so that you can return home and return to your family. Follow me, let's go on the hospital. Hi, I'm Angie Lambert, the Chief Nursing Officer for Medical Center. Here at Medical Center, we provide patient family-centered care. Our visiting hours are flexible based on your needs and the love, needs of your loved ones. While you are here, we will witness a host of activities that are designed to keep you informed of your progress and to keep you safe. Our associates will check on you about every hour to ensure your needs are met and that you are safe. We pledge to you that we will wash our hands before and after seeing every single patient. At 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. shift change, your current nurse and the oncoming nurse will report on your progress. That report will occur at your bedside to ensure that you are involved. This report is designed to keep you updated on your individualized plan of care and to allow you to participate in the discussion. Please raise any question or concern during that report or any time during your stay. Daily, a hospital leader will also visit to address your concerns and to ensure you're receiving the highest quality of care. These leaders are Dr. Thompson's and my representatives, and they will convey any concerns to us. Hi, I'm Patrick Collins, Director of Admissions here at Medical Center Hospital. Regardless of whether you enter the hospital through our emergency department or an elective admission requested by your physician or through a transfer from another medical facility, a member of my staff will meet you shortly after your arrival to collect information including the correct spelling of your name from your valid identification card and your date of birth. This is to ensure your safe care during your stay and we will place an armband to ensure your accurate identification. During that admission process, you will be required to provide current demographic information Towards the end of your stay, an admission representative will follow up to discuss any financial information in regards to your stay. Welcome, my name is Barb Klafke and I serve as the Director of Medical Center's Cardiac Telemetry Units. During your stay, you may meet various nursing associates. Your registered nurses will be dressed in blue. Your nurse will coordinate your care and will collaborate with your physicians to deliver your individualized plan of care. Your nurse may supervise a team of other nursing personnel, such as licensed vocational nurses, also dressed in blue, as well as certified nursing assistants, dressed in olive green. In the intensive care units and cardiac telemetry units, your team will include only registered nurses and certified nursing assistants. Hello, my name is Dr. Ming, and I am a hospital physician at Medical Center Hospital. During your stay, you will likely have a hospital physician providing your day-to-day -day physician care. Your hospital physician will inform your primary physician about your status and will coordinate care with other physicians such as consulting physicians or surgeons who may be asked to assist with their care. You may also see advanced practice nurses, nurse practitioners, or physician assistants during your stay. These healthcare professionals help us to have more individuals caring for you to ensure you receive the best of care. If you are in one of our intensive care units, you will meet our intensive care medicine physicians who help provide around the clock care. If ever during your stay you would like to have spiritual assistance, our chaplain services are available. Please inform a member of our nursing team or your physician. Additionally, we have extensive translation services available on request. As we provide patient family-centered care, we want your family to be involved with your care. Please have your family members be present, if possible, to discuss a plan of care with your physician. In general, most physicians round in the morning. If your family member cannot be present, we will certainly try to call them to update them or to call them and place them on speaker 
so that they may participate in discussions regarding your care. Hi, I'm Miguel Mendez and I am a nursing director. I'd like to take a moment to orient you to your room. All of our rooms are private with bathrooms, showers, and windows. Your bed has multiple adjustments to make you comfortable. The controls are located on the inside panel of your bed. We are committed to your safety and dedicated to fall prevention. Falls at any age can lead to significant health challenges. As we get older, falls can also cause death. Because we love our patients so much, we like you to help us prevent every single fall. There is only one thing we ask. Before you get out of bed or out of a chair, call a member of our team to help. Our saying is, call, don't fall. For many of our patients, we will turn on an alarm in the bed or chair that will notify us if you are getting up. While the alarm is a nuisance, please know that it is there to keep you safe. On the wall of your room, there is a whiteboard. It is updated regularly and has information such as your nurse, your physician, as well as your plan of care and other information. Your room telephone number is listed on the whiteboard. If you are found to have an infection that can be transmitted from person to person, we may need to place you in an isolation status. This may require your health providers to wear gown, gowns, gloves, or even masks. We take these steps to not only protect others, patients, but also to protect you from an infection. We will educate your family and visitors, if required, to wear these protective devices. If you have any problems hearing or understanding because we are wearing a mask, please let us know. My name is Melissa Reyna and I am the Director of Case Management. My staff and I are the team who ensure that your transition out of the hospital is seamless and that your care is assured after discharge. As a result, we begin planning your discharge from Medical Center the moment that you are admitted. The detailed individual planning ensures that our goal of exceptional care and your safety continues long after you leave our hospital. Early on, as we plan for your hospital discharge, we will work with you and your family to plan your transportation home. As soon as possible, we will anticipate a time of discharge so that your family member or friend can be here. Importantly, most of our discharges occur in the morning. If you anticipate any problem with transportation, please let us know so that we can help make alternate, alternative arrangements. As soon as you get home, please call your primary care physician to make a follow-up appointment within one week. After your discharge, you should need a copy of your medical records. You can request them through the patient portal. The internet address of the portal is listed on your discharge summary. You may also visit our medical records office to request a complete copy of your records. Hi, I'm Brett Brown. I'm the chef manager here at Medical Center Hospital. We are very proud of the quality of our food. For patients for whom the doctors allow a regular diet, we have a room service menu that you can use to order from 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Please dial 56037 or 56082 for dietary and room service assistance. If you are on a special diet, we will be happy to work with you to provide the best diet given your medical situation. I'm Jonathan Griggs, Director of Environmental Services. My team and I are proud to provide for you a clean and healthy environment to help you during your healing process. A member of my team will sanitize your room in detail prior to your arrival and will ensure that it is checked daily and sanitized. If you need any special cleaning services, please let a member of your nursing team know and we will be there to take care of your needs. Thank you. Hello, I'm Michael Arrigan. I'm the Director of Hospital Facilities. We seek to make you as comfortable as possible during your stay. Your thermostat is located on the wall of your room and can easily be adjusted to your preference by any staff member. We also have ample parking in several areas around the hospital, from the front on the right-hand side of the building, also by the emergency department entrance and adjacent to our two medical office buildings. Again, we would like to thank you for choosing Medical Center as your healthcare provider. Hello, my name is Della Wilhelm. I'm the Director of Rehabilitation Services here at the Medical Center Hospital. The goal of my team of physical therapists, physical therapist assistants, 
occupational therapist and speech language pathologist is to help you to return to as active a level of living as possible after you leave our hospital. We also seek to improve your physical strength and your functional capabilities during your stay. While you are with us here in the hospital, depending upon your physician's assessment, various members of your team may work with you depending on your specific needs. In addition, our services are available on weekends in order to continue to maximize your ability to heal and to help you on your road to recovery. Hi, I'm Aaron Kasher, lead phlebotomist at Medical Center. My colleagues and I provide a broad range of laboratory services to help your physicians make the best decisions to return you to your health. While our phlebotomists who draw blood may come at any time of day, they will often come very early in the morning to obtain blood samples. The reason for this is that when your physicians arrive early in the morning, the laboratory test results are available and they then can make the very best decisions for your care. Hello, my name is Laura Sparza and I am the Director of Radiology Services at Medical Center Hospital. We have an extensive imaging services available including ultrasound, CT, MRI, nuclear medicine, interventional radiology, and diagnostic radiology. Some procedures may be performed in your room, but most will be performed in our radiology department. My colleague here, Derek, another member of our patient transport team, will escort you to your location of your imaging study and then return you to your room. As with all our services, nursing, food services, admissions, physical therapy, and lab, we would always ask you for your name and date of birth and check your armband for accuracy. Hi, I'm Vanessa Navarro, Director of Perioperative Services here at Medical Center Hospital. Should you require an operation, my team and I are proud to provide exceptional care during surgical procedures. We are delighted to work side by side by some of the most talented surgeons and anesthesiologists in Texas and across the country. Your surgeon will discuss with you and your family the risks and benefits and your anesthesiologist will discuss how anesthesia and pain control will be provided. While you are in surgery, our OR team will take care of you and keep your family updated of your status. After surgery, then you go to the recovery area where a team of nurses will provide your care until you're fully awake and able to return to your room or be discharged. In the recovery area, you're for privacy purposes. Family members and visitors are not allowed, but nonetheless, we'll keep your family informed of your progress. It's Dr. Thompson again, and we're almost done. You will receive a summary of your hospitalization as you leave the hospital, and a member of our nursing staff will review it with you before you leave. It's very important that you review the list of the medications you'll be taking and that you make arrangements to fill those prescriptions if they're new. We're very proud of the care that we provide and we don't want any oversights to prevent your continued improvement in your health after you leave our hospital. If you have a problem after your discharge, please call your primary physician. If the problem's an emergency, please call 911. And if you have a question about your hospital care, please call the unit where you are hospitalized. The Medical Center Hospital Operator 210-705-6300 can transfer you to your unit. Within a few days of your discharge, you may receive a questionnaire about your care, and we'd like you to take the time to complete it and add any comments that you may think or may be helpful to us. We take these questionnaires very seriously and continuously seek to improve the quality of care that we provide our patients. I'd also like to ask that when you get when you respond to the survey, it's also a great way to recognize any members of your healthcare team that took great care of you. Thanks again for giving us the opportunity to care for you during your hospital stay. Hello, my name is Sister Rosita. 150 years ago, in 1869, three Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word left their native France to travel to San Antonio, then located on the American frontier, to answer a desperate call for help for victims of a deadly outbreak of cholera. These remarkable women opened the Santa Rosa Infirmary that became really the foundation of what we know today 
as the Christa Santa Rosa Healthcare System, of which this hospital is part. Today, hundreds of our associates honor the legacy of these brave sisters through our singular focus at Medical Center Hospital on the mission of Christus Health, which is to extend the healing ministry of Jesus Christ. We are so pleased that you have placed your trust in us for your health care. You and your family are in our prayer.